Hey, what's going on guys, Paul here and welcome to today's video. In this video, I will be showing you guys some cool features on this 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. Now the first cool feature is the memory sitting. Now this is a pretty common feature for the driver, but usually they only have two options. So you can have only like two drivers. With the Mercedes, you get three. This part here is actually a fake button, so this does not adjust whatsoever. It is nicely controlled, the seat like this. You can go forward and back. It's really easy to know which one does what. But then if you look here to the passenger side, you can see that the passenger side also has three person memory seating. Again, this part here is fake, but these buttons, they're all real and you can just move the seat whichever position you prefer and then you have this part here which is manually adjustable so you pull this lever for both the driver and the passenger and you can adjust this leg extension as well the next thing i like is that the car has if you go over to the vehicle settings you have the option to have so let me see if i can help with this flickering this is not the car doing this is the camera doing it it looks better so if you go over to the uh, vehicle settings using this knob and then we're going to go over to the ambient lighting so this is the light color that you can choose from and then you have your brightness and i'll show you a night footage that i have you can see ambient lighting underneath the passenger uh, foot area also on the driver where the pedals are it continues also in the rear ambient light color so you go here and look at the amount of colors you have that you can pick from. And of course, newer Mercedes give you even way more customization when it comes to ambient lighting, but this is a 2018 and uh, my car is a 2018 C-Class and I only have three color options. But it's pretty cool that the GLA comes with, looks like 12 different colors that you can choose from. The next cool feature has to do with these two ports. So this one here, you can see it's a bit different. So this one will allow you to connect your phone to your car and then have Apple CarPlay. And here we go. Now we have Apple CarPlay that we can control using this dial. And I find this cool because my C-Class does not have Apple CarPlay, whereas this GLA has Apple CarPlay. It is a bit weird using the knob to control it. I think Apple CarPlay is way nicer if it was a touch screen and then you can easily control it more than using this knob to figure out where you want to go. So you can go the up, down, you can go right, left, all of that, and then figure out what you want to do. The next cool feature here is that if you look over here, you have the dynamic select. And if you press this, you have an off-road option on this GLA. So you go down all the way, and now you have off-road option. If we go using the knob again up here to the vehicle, and then we back out of here and go to dynamic select, we can go vehicle data, and then this will show us our steering angle and the tilt and all that, which is really nice. And then down here, this button is your hill descent control cruise control so pushing this it shows it right there and then using the lever here you can adjust it so we can go up to i believe 18 kilometers per hour the fastest yep and then the slowest is four kilometers per hour so you can't go slower than that and when you activate it it even shows it right there so here is off and then on as long as you have the key fob in your pocket, you put your foot underneath the bumper and then the tailgate opens. You have the button to close it right here. And then right here, you have a lockable cargo area. So you can store items in here and then you can use the key. You take it out and then you can lock this. So now it will no longer open. There's also some space right there. And then you also have tie downs and there's a 12 volt right there. And you can put your foot under there again and then it will close it.
the next cool feature is is let's say you forgot this window open you cannot obviously close it because the car is off but the cool part is you can touch the lock here the mirrors fold in and then you can touch and hold and this will automatically roll all the windows and close them so roll them up and then close it which is pretty nice and if you want to open all of the windows you touch and hold and then you pull the handle and then all of the windows just open same thing again you can touch to lock and then you can even do it on this one all of the doors have keyless entry so you touch and hold and all of the windows now will close that's really cool you can also do them using the key fob hold the unlock button it will actually go ahead and open up all the windows and also open the sunroof so if you like to close it you will just hold the lock button and it will go ahead and close the sunroof and all the windows so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this was some helpful information uh it's going to be sad to see this car gone uh, we had it for almost three years this car has been really great it has never had any issues uh, but my sister wanted something different so she ended up trading this in for a 2021 tesla model y